Uh, festival kicks off on uh, Wednesday, the 15th of August, and it'll end on the 19th of August, the Sunday. Uh, basically, the first two nights are family nights where, the, where we invite the community to come out with their families, uh, enjoy the great food that we have for them, as well as the rides. Uh, same thing on Thursday night. Come on out, enjoy the rides, great food, uh, you know, and uh, camaraderie with all the other people in the community. Uh, then on Friday night, we'll actually uh, have a national recording artist, Charlie Rivers and Shenandoah, uh, on our main stage out in, uh, in, in the field. And then Saturday, Saturday morning, uh, bright and early in the morning, 9 o'clock, our uh, shrimp cook-off will kick off. And the judging usually starts about, uh, we end about 2, and we'll announce the winners. And then we'll have a fado do underneath the, uh, the, uh, the main pavilion there. And then after uh, that, at about 6, 7 o'clock, we'll uh, kick off our music on our main stage again. And uh, closing out this year uh, is national recording artist Chris Cagle. Uh, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, we'll have uh, the uh, Fisherman's Mass, and then, which is followed by the Blessing of the Fleet. And uh, shortly thereafter, the, all concessions will open, and we'll have another Fado Do underneath the main pavilion, pavilion with the, uh, the festival ending around 4 o'clock that afternoon. What's your favorite part of the festival? My favorite part of the festival is definitely the atmosphere. It is very home feeling. You know, you come outside of the festival and you see that beautiful mural on the Ship Festival building. And before you even step in, it's like you can see everything that the festival entails. And then you walk into the door and you, you feel everybody's hospitality and you have good food and great music. And it's just a great place to have your family come to and be involved with. They should travel for this because it's definitely one of a kind. This festival is probably the best, best festival in Louisiana, you know, with their hospitality. And, you know, on the brochure, if you look at it, at the bottom of it, it says, no little red wagons allowed. And, like, to me, that's, they understand, you know, family values, you know. And to me, they just know what a family is all about. So why wouldn't someone, someone want to come to the festival to experience something like that? Our festival started about 62 years ago um, just to raise money to help the uh, fire department in, in Delta. And uh, since then, it, it's, grown, uh, it's grown into something much bigger. Uh, all the money that we raise for the festival, we give back to our community. We give back to all the organizations, uh, the Boy Scouts, the, uh, the band. We help buy athletic jackets for the athletes at uh, the, the local high school. We also help, um, you know, um, buy school ground equipment and scoreboards and whatnot just to, to benefit the people here in our community. What's your favorite part of the festival and why? If I had to pick, it'd probably be the food. I mean, uh, where else can you go and get just shrimp cooked any which way you want it? Fried, ball, etouffee, jambalaya, uh, shrimp salad, you know. Uh, the food here is great. Uh, all our members here spend lots of time preparing for it and, and uh, they, they put their heart and soul into it. Tell us about some of the things the Commission is doing to help restore the shrimping heritage to the community. Well we started a direct seafood program three years ago to help shrimpers uh, sell their their catch directly to the public. That is something that has been going on for many years but we brought uh, technology to the, those transactions by putting up a website where the fisherman can post what he is catching, when he's catching, when he's, where he's going to be and uh, how to contact him. And so it provides the public uh, an opportunity to make contact with a fisherman and buy directly off the boat. It's uh, the, the fisherman gets more uh, revenue by selling direct as opposed to going through wholesalers and uh, in our industry in our shrimping industry has been going down for many years and we really we were hanging on trying to hang on to the last few fishermen in our community and trying to attract new fishermen to come and, and, uh, and fish for, for a living or for a part-time living. What makes this festival so special and important to Delcom? It's a it, it generates a lot of revenue to the town. Uh, if you're a tourist from out of town, you've never seen a shrimp boat, you can come in and see shrimp boat. We have local convenience stores. Uh, you can buy shrimp the, the, pretty much the week of the festival. Uh, it, it generates a lot of revenue for our town. 
one thing is with without without our sponsors, and a lot of them are local sponsors. Uh, we we could not do what we do today. Uh, it, it's because of their generosity that we're actually able to put this festival on. We have a lot of gold sponsors, platinum sponsors, silver sponsors. I, I just can't name them all, and I can't thank them enough because without them, we probably couldn't do half the things we do nowadays. The freshly breaded shrimp, slowly drop them in there. And it takes about three, four, maybe five minutes to, for them to be done. And ready to serve. What do you like the best about uh, frying up shrimp? The, the aroma is, is one thing. Knowing that people will enjoy them is probably the best. What's the secret to really good fried shrimp? It's all in the seasoning. The, the spicier, the better. We have some of the best food you'll ever eat right here. And one thing that's unique about our food is, it, is our food is all cooked by our volunteers. We don't have any outside vendors cooking. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here this year? Okay, we're in Delcom this year partnering with the, uh, with the Shrimp Festival uh, to promote the Delcom Direct Seafood Program where consumers in this area can buy their shrimp directly off of the boats. So we've got a website, we're going to be talking about all that. We're also going to be doing a promotion on a new frozen shrimp product, Top Shelf, Vermilion Bay Sweet. We're going to release it at the, at the Shrimp Festival this year. You can, you can go home with some one and a half pound packs of the most top quality shrimp possible and we're, we're packing it as a as a program uh, out of the Delcom Direct Seafood Project. What would be the difference for the consumer in purchasing through the, through the program through the website rather than going to the store and buying some shrimp? Well you're definitely going to get a cheaper, uh, 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 I mean a less costly uh, price um, or a lower price I should say and you know it's fresh you know it's uh, and, and you know the, the organic movement across the country is huge and, and people like that experience of buying a fresh product and when you buy from a store you're not sure what channels it went through uh, and you're definitely paying a, a lot more for, for the product but uh, people just love the idea of being able to buy directly from that fisherman. Can you uh, tell us a bit why this would be important to the region? This is really important because when we when we build uh, seafood, seafood sales are based on, on quality. When you're moving out of the commodity market into selling uh, top shelf, top grade product, it has to be top quality. And so uh, we're developing a top quality product that's gone through uh, all the steps you need to get from handling on the boat to processing in the plant to packaging and freezing. We're going to have the, the most premium product that you can produce. What was your reaction when you were named Queen? Actually, I was doing it this pageant on a leg and a limb. Um, I was 18 years old whenever I won, and basically that's very young to have a title like this. So whenever I won, I was in completely utter shock. Um, you know, I had the whole jumping up and down heels thing going on for me, and it was just, it's basically a feeling that you will, it's something that you can't really explain. It's something that within, and it's just like your heart's like filled with this so much emotion, so. What does being part of this tradition mean to you? It's, it's a very good feeling. Um, actually, being shrimp, the 61st Shrimp Queen, I am actually starting a tradition this year at the festival. Um, you know, not many queens are involved with the festival itself. So what I'm trying to do is start up a cooking team for the cook-off and, you know, get more of the queens involved, you know, get the festival out there and have people want to come to the Shrimp Festival pageant and be involved with the festival. How did you feel when you found out you won? It was a great feeling, something that I will definitely cherish for a long time. It was just exciting and I had, like, when my name was announced, I could not believe it. It was just a great feeling. What does it mean to you to be part of this tradition? It means a lot to me because my family came from the Delcom Shrimp Festival. My great-grandmother was a shrimper and my whole family worked in the shrimping industry. And it was made me feel really excited to be a part of it and come back to my family's roots. It was just a great experience and opportunity for me and I had a blast. How did it feel when you found out you won? 
I was ecstatic just knowing that I would be able to travel to the great state of Louisiana representing my hometown of Delcom, Louisiana. I was so happy and especially to be a part of a great association. What does it mean to you to be part of the tradition? For me to be part of this tradition is very important to me because of the fact that Delcom is my hometown and this is what I know. I know Delcom, I know the shrimping industry. I have grandparents who are shrimpers, so it was very important to me to be a part of this tradition. What's your favorite part of the festival? My favorite part of the festival would have to be the music, especially this year we have National Recording Orgus, Chris Cagle, Shenandoah, and Charlie Rivers. I love the music here, it's great. If people want more information, what should they do? Oh, the best place to go if they want more information is our website, www.shrimpfestival.net.